Hi, I'm Nezwers and I do stuff. This time I want to show you how to make uh, calculations for Pendulum. Uh, initially I started this from a coding train video and I liked the idea and I adapted that um, code base for Godot. And this is uh, purely calculated with code and I added some functionality to give some impulse for that swing. Okay, let's start from scratch. Uh, okay, this uh, we can delete this because I I'm recording this second time. So we need. Uh, I'm choosing position 2D because it's easier to see when you're positioning it in the uh, scene. But it could be even even uh, mode 2D. So let's create a script for it. Uh, I like to start with empty. Um, call it pendulum. E. Okay. Uh, I like last name pendulum. Oh, pendulum. So. If you want to use it in the game, you can simply instantiate a class Pendulum straight in the straight in in the code without uh, loading into memory. So we need to start with some variables. Pivot point is the point of your uh, yeah. OBS doesn't want to don't want to record my pointer. So, pivot point uh, is the point your pendulum rotates around, and position is the other end that rotates around it. Arm length will be calculated uh, the distance from one point to the other, and angle is angle from that uh, pivot point to which direction. Um, the arm is pointing. Next, um, we'll export float um, so we can uh, change that from editor. So gravity, you can play with those values. Um, for starter, I'm choosing this um, for pixel artish speed. Um, and export float for dumping uh, as arb arbitrary dampening force. Uh, it's uh, so uh, dampening force uh, will be the force that's make that is making your pendulum swing less and less each frame. Okay. Uh, next, last. But not least, uh, variables uh, angular angular velocity. Um, that's uh, basically speed your pendulum is rotating around the pivot point. And if angular velocity is zero, it stays in the on the spot. But angular velocity acceleration is adding each frame uh, some value and making that speed grow or uh, decrease. Uh, we need some function we can set our starting values. I'm calling this set start position. Um, probably later need some modifications, but at the start we need just start position and position. So start position we assign to our pivot point uh, where we want to position our position to the but uh, we'll get to that later and position uh, how we want to offset uh, our points uh, end point arm length is automatically calculated the distance from start pivot point to end point and angle is calculated from 
uh, from this um, offset uh, value uh, yeah and we need um, give um, Godot's like default default zero angle offset because Godot's zero angle points to the right and uh, this calculation is based in, uh, on uh, angle pointing down zero ah, sorry for my exp weak explanation in English um, and we can create ready on, on, on the ready function we can set these values and next uh, um, dun 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 dun. next we need processing all these values uh, this is not uh, physics process because I want a separate method for calculations and you can use it however you want but I'll show how I used just for um, standalone pendulum so this uh, process velocity will need argument argument uh, delta and for angular acceleration we calculate um, we need to time multiply by delta gravity so we get uh, frame frame rate uh, independent uh, sp speed gravity speed divided by arm length and multiply sinus sinus and from angle um, I, I don't know the correct name for this formula but it works and uh, here's a reference link uh, how to where this form formula is coming from so uh, next we need to add uh, that acceleration to our velocity and also we uh, dampening that velocity by our arbitrary dampening um, and we um, add our angular velocity to the angle and then we just calculate oh god you don't see my pointer and I'm moving it like crazy so and position will be cal calculated by our pivot point plus uh, arm length times sinus from angle uh, as our x uh, axis value on vector 2 and arm length times cosinus from angle and that's uh, for y axis uh, kinda that's it uh, for whole calculation but you might ask how do I you, you utilize this code well uh, let's create a method for adding uh, impulse for our velocity so we can um, access from outside by just giving impulse and it will just add to our velocity and move in one of the directions clockwise or counter counterclockwise and I'll use this method this is like uh, for standalone use so this uh, object can itself uh, operate and give some impulse from your keyboard um, I created right and left uh, inputs but you can use whatever your uh, inputs are but this is for this ex example only so for one direction we give a positive one and for the other negative one 
and multiply that by some arbitrary value just for this example and your arm length will impact this uh, value uh, your gravity will impact this value so go and test it yourself so and finally this is a physics process for this um, to work in standalone you basically wouldn't need this these two methods for in game you probably create like a player state that's just um, calculates all, all your velocities through this and just give a delta uh, to process velocity and get uh, needed your end position and you can play around it but I will try to make my own video how to um, add this to platformer so uh, for this example in physics uh, process I just ask game input just do some calculations on which direction I press give impulse then I just process where my end position should be and update is for drawing those lines oh God. just draw a line from one point to other and circle to the end point let's check if it works, yes. I can give some impulses. Yeah, and it goes. How fast can we go? Okay, crazy. Okay. I hope you like this video and if you come up with your own idea for um, I implementing in a platformer game or maybe you make something interesting from to for top-down game just let me know um, you can shout out me on Twitter I put my link down in description and maybe you can uh, join my discord server I just um, started my own discord for this uh, game development and okay um, I hope you like this and see you later